Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can paint a landscape with only two colors. So, Tez Dower was featuring an art challenge on his channel, and the challenge was to use this black and white photo that was submitted by Momo Paints, shout out to Momo Paint, and everybody from the channel would both collect, all collectively paint this painting that was in black and white, and interpret the colors. So I thought it would be a really fun challenge to try and paint this landscape painting using only two colors plus white. The two colors that I picked are uh, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. The reason why I picked these two colors is because they're complements of each other. Uh, complementary colors are colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel. Ultramarine blue is obviously blue and burnt sienna is a type of orange. Now you can get into all kinds of scientific color wheels like the Yermby wheel for instance and sometimes it's kind of a struggle to determine what color is say a burnt umber. Is it a brown? Is it a yellow? Is it an orange? In general the umbers are kind of an orangey color so that helps but you can also do uh, experiments, practical experiments yourself by combining two colors that you think might be complements and if they mix to create a black or a gray then those are complementary colors. Uh, complementary colors have that asset in that they tend to cancel each other out and create a gray or a black which might not sound good but is actually a wonderful thing um, because in a way you're almost getting other colors out of the combination of the two. And um, the other benefit of using complementary colors is that not only are you interpreting a photo in terms of values, getting your darks and your lights, which is, in my opinion, the most important step to achieving a sense of realism, but you're also being able to play with cool and warm colors. You could pick other complements as well that might not be cool and warm, but in this case, blue and orange are kind of that classic complement scheme of cool versus warm colors, and so it allowed me to kind of explore those two things, both the tonal range of dark to light and the um, depth of color temperature, cool and warm. Tez made an awesome video showcasing all the different paintings that people submitted and uh, I wanna point you over to his channel to check that out. Um, I'll link it in the description below and in the end cards at the end of the video. Um, but it was really cool to see all the different ways that people interpreted this photo. I mean, people use different mediums and uh, different color schemes, and it was a really awesome thing to see. Let me know if you guys would be interested in doing a challenge like this on my channel. We could have you guys submit photos, vote on which one would be good, and then all collectively um, paint from the same photo, and then uh, we could do a video and talk about it. I think it could be a lot of fun. If that sounds fun to you, let me know in the comments. I really wanna shout out Tez and thank him for um, allowing me to be a part of this challenge and for being such an important part of the plein air community here on YouTube. Check out his channel, I'll link that down below. Make sure you subscribe to him. If you want to learn more about color theory and how compliments work, I actually have a playlist here that you can check out um, that talks a little bit more about that as well as check out the video that shows all the different versions of this painting that people did on Tez's channel. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.